Okay, in this demonstration, we are going to plot a running fix. The tools we're using for this um, demonstration are 13205 training chart. We have our triangles and our divider. The example I have made for us puts waypoint four here, and we are headed for waypoint five here. The track line is drawn and it gives us a course of 072 degrees true. At 0800, I got a GPS fix and I found myself right on track. For the problem, for the running fix problem, I'm going to take the following bearings. So at 0810, I take a bearing off Watch Hill Point Light, which is right here of 315 degrees true. Because of the rules of DR, I need to now plot a DR for 0810. So I calculate the distance I would travel from my last known position, which is 0800, and I enter into the equation for distance equals speed times time. And if I multiply 10 minutes divided by 60 to put into hours, multiply that by 15, then I find 2.5 nautical miles I travel in 10 minutes. So with that, 2.5 nautical miles, right here, I plot my DR off my 0800 position. Zero 0810. I observe that my line of position for 810 does not cross my DR. That is not uncommon. It would actually be uncommon if it lined up perfectly with our DR. So time passes and at 0830, I take another line of position off the same light, Watch Hill Point light. This time, the light bears 285 degrees true. So I draw my line of position here. I'm drawing it lo very long. You don't have to draw it this long. And I label it 0830. And because of my rules of DR, I plot a DR for 0830. I know in 30 minutes from my last known position at 0800, which is where I have to base my DR, I'll travel half of what I travel in an hour. And for this scenario, if you didn't figure it out already, we're going 15 knots. There we go. So in 15 knots, um, in 30 minutes at 15 knots, I travel seven and a half nautical miles. So here I find, I'll do it from the top. Five, six, seven and a half. And I start from zero eight hundred and that right there is my zero eight thirty DR. Again, it doesn't align with my line of position. My DR is just an estimate of where I am. My line of position is where I am. I must be on that line. So for this problem, we're going to make a 0830 running fix. We have all of the tools that we need, all of the information just in these two lines of position. I'm going to advance my 0810 to a 0830 time. To do this, I could calculate the distance that I would travel between 810 and 830 using my 15 knots along my track line, but I've already done that because that's what my DRs represent. So I start with this DR and I spread my triangle out to 
my 830 DR, and then I think about what I want to accomplish. I want to advance the 0810 line of position to 830. So I take this distance and I move my divider to where the 0810 crosses my track line. Okay, you see how I've shifted it back from that DR right there to um, where the line of position crosses the track line because I'm taking it and I'm gonna move it. Where am I gonna move it to? Where the other divider end is. So I take this 810 line of position and I advance it along my track line to the notch I made. And then I labeled this line redrawn 0810 dash 0830, it's a 0810 line that's advanced to 0830. Then I observe where those two lines cross, they cross right here. This is my 0830 RFIX running fix. And we see that it's, um, three tenths of a mile to the left of track, which is fine. We're not on our crack line. No problem, now we know where we are and we can adjust if we need to. And that's how we do a running fix.